The Arc de Triomphe, located at the western end of the Champs Elysees in Paris, France, holds a rich historical background and deep national significance. It was commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte in 1806, shortly after his victory at the Battle of Austerlitz, with the aim of celebrating the triumph of the French army. However, due to various political and financial issues, the construction of the monument was temporarily halted, and it was finally completed in 1836, during the reign of King Louis Philippe. The Arc de Triomphe stands at an impressive height of 50 meters, 164 feet, and a width of 45 meters, 148 feet. Its massive structure symbolizes the strength and unity of the French people. Beneath the arch, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier commemorates the soldiers who lost their lives during World War I, adding a poignant layer of significance to the monument. After the defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte at Waterloo in 1815, construction of the Arc de Triomphe came to a halt, leaving the monument incomplete for several years. It wasn't until the reign of King Louis Philip in the 1830s that the project was revived and finally completed in 1836. Under the direction of architect Jean Nicholas Hyatt, the arch was officially inaugurated on July 29, 1836. During World War II, the Arc de Triomphe witnessed significant historical events. In 1940, Adolf Hitler ordered a triumphant march of German troops through Paris after the fall of France. As a symbolic gesture, he chose to pass through the Arc de Triomphe. However, when the Allies liberated Paris in 1944, General Charles de Gaulle led a procession through the arch in a reversal of fortune, symbolizing victory and freedom. Beyond its original purpose as a commemoration of Napoleon's military victories, the Arc de Triomphe has evolved into a symbol of national pride and unity for the French people. It serves as a memorial to all those who fought and died for France, not just during Napoleon's era, but also in subsequent conflicts, including World War I and World War II. Two, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, located beneath the arch, honors the unidentified soldiers who lost their lives during World War I. This solemn tribute serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by countless individuals in service to their country. Designed by architect Jean Chalgrin, the Arc de Triomphe showcases the neoclassical architectural style which was popular during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The monument features intricately carved friezes, sculptures, and bas-reliefs that depict significant historical events and mythological figures. The relief sculptures on the arch's facades narrate key moments in French history, such as the departure of soldiers to war, the return of victorious troops, and the support of the French people. The names of 660 generals and 128 battles fought during the Napoleonic era are inscribed on the walls, commemorating their contributions to French military history. The Arc de Triomphe's neoclassical design draws inspiration from ancient Roman triumphal arches, particularly the Arch of Titus and the Arch of Septimius Severus in Rome. The arch features four grand facades, each adorned with intricate sculptures and bas reliefs. The sculptural ensemble, created by several renowned artists of the time, includes depictions of allegorical figures representing victory, peace, and resistance, as well as heroic soldiers and scenes of French military history. At the base of the arch, the sculpted friezes depict significant moments from the French Revolution and the subsequent Napoleonic era. These historical events include the departure of troops from France to conquer Europe, victorious returns, and the celebration of liberty and the Republic. The arch is crowned by a large attic, adorned with reliefs that pay homage to national pride and unity. The sculpted figures of France and fame stand proudly on either side of a central shield, which bears the names of major victories and generals. The Arc de Triomphe continues to be a powerful symbol of France's historical and cultural heritage, attracting millions of visitors from around the world each year. Its monumental architecture, intricate design, 
and profound historical significance make it a must-visit landmark for anyone exploring the beauty and history of Paris. Whether you're a history enthusiast, architecture lover, or simply a curious traveler, the Arc de Triomphe offers an amazing experience that will leave a lasting impression. To visit the Arc de Triomphe, visitors need to purchase a ticket, which includes access to the observation deck at the top. Ticket prices may vary depending on age and eligibility for discounts. It is advisable to check the official website or local tourism information for the most up-to-date ticketing details. The monument is open to visitors throughout the year, but the opening hours may vary by season. To avoid long queues and crowds, it is best to plan the visit during weekdays and during non-peak hours. For those who wish to enjoy the breathtaking views of Paris, Climbing to the top of the Arc de Triomphe is a must-do experience. There are 284 steps to the summit, and while it may require some physical effort, the reward is well worth it. From the observation deck, visitors can marvel at the beauty of the Champs Elysees, Eiffel Tower, Louvre Museum, and other iconic landmarks that grace the Parisian skyline. The Arc de Triomphe houses the Museum of the Arc de Triomphe, located within the monument. The museum displays historical artifacts, documents, and artwork related to the history and construction of the arch. Exhibitions may change periodically. Additionally, exploring the Champs Elysees before or after the visit to the Arc de Triomphe can enhance the overall experience. The avenue is known for its high-end shops, cafes, and theaters, making it a great place to immerse oneself in the Parisian lifestyle. While visiting the Arc de Triomphe, it is crucial to adhere to safety guidelines and follow the rules set by the monument's administration. Avoid touching the sculptures or exhibits to preserve their integrity for future generations. Photography is usually allowed but may be restricted in certain areas, such as the museum, for preservation purposes. As a symbol of national pride and remembrance, visitors are expected to show respect and understanding during their time at the Arc de Triomphe. Being mindful of others and maintaining a sense of decorum will contribute to a positive and meaningful experience at this historic site. The Arc de Triomphe is conveniently located in the heart of Paris, making it easily accessible by various means of transportation. Visitors can use the Paris Metro, with the closest station being Charles de Gaulle Etoile Lines 1, 2, and 6. Alternatively, buses and taxis are available for those who prefer a direct route. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the magnificent Arc de Triomphe, we hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour and gained a deeper appreciation for the history, significance, architecture, and design of this iconic monument. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss out on our future travel adventures and historical explorations. We have plenty more exciting content lined up for you, taking you to remarkable, inspiring destinations around the world. If you've been to the Arc de Triomphe or plan to visit in the future, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and insights. Thank you for joining us on this Parisian adventure. Until next time, remember to keep exploring, stay curious, and embrace the beauty of our world's historical landmarks. Merci beaucoup for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Safe travels and à bientôt.